this is like so much stuff. Hi everybody, thank you so very much for joining me today. I wasn't exactly going to film because to be honest with you, I'm still, I'm grieving very much and so are my parents, but I have these boxes here that I really just want to put this stuff away. So I wanted to film and get this video done and I want to thank all of you for your words, uh, your your condolences, your sweet words, your your understanding, and I'm going to get through this video without crying. <laughs> so, uh, Ulta really stepping up their game, competing with Sephora on the daily. They just had their 21 days of beauty, and then they had a 20% off sale plus their spring haul sale. So I was able to get some things that I wanted for not only the 20% off. Now the 20% off did not apply to the spring haul sale, but those items were 50% off already, so I was already saving a bundle. On top of that, I had $125 Plus, I have more than that, but $125 worth of points. So I was able to get all of this stuff for around $30. And actually, the retail value, I think, of what it is has to be well over $300. I'm going to try to put that uh, information on the screen. If I can go through and, um, you know, find out the retail value, the full price value of everything. I also picked up a couple of things from Nordstrom Rack. They were having like these incredible sales as well. Everyone is trying to compete. All of the indie brands, Juvia's Place was having, I think, a 40% off sale which I picked up a couple of things, Saucebox Cosmetics. All of these brands are trying to compete for everyone's business and me, <laughs> in my grief at the moment. Um, you know, granted, I have a certain amount of money that I set aside to buy things for my channel, so it all falls within that realm of everything. But, and plus, <laughs> itchy. Sephora is having their VIB sale which is 20% for Rouge coming up starting April 26th. If you guys would like to see a recommendations or what's on my favorites list video, please let me know. I would be happy to do it. Filming is the only thing that keeps my mind occupied and keeps me from having to deal with all the stressors around me because I love you guys and you're just amazing. Did anybody tell you that today? I'm telling you, you're amazing. Now that I've been talking for five minutes straight, how about we get into the amazing products that I got? I did honestly try out a couple of these things because, to be honest with you, I can't, I can't wait. I can't help it. So the first thing that I got, which I have tried these before, and out of all of them, these are definitely my favorite, albeit the most expensive. They are so expensive. This is the original baby foot foot peel. I've tried three others, three different brands. One of them I didn't like. This one, I had the absolute best results, but this is normally $25, which is just, what? <laughs> Where the other ones are around $10 to $15, but I really did get the absolute best results with the original baby foot. And even online, if you go into Amazon, they're all $25 on Amazon, unless you're getting a uh, fake. You don't know what foot foot foot? <laughs> foot peels are. It is a heavy duty lactic or other type of acid that you put your feet in booties and you keep it there for an hour and a half and then on the daily you soak your feet for 10 minutes and then your feet start to exfoliate and peel like a lizard. No, a snake. A snake. <laughs> yes. It's satisfying and it does work and it makes your feet feel wonderful. I'm going to be doing these because summer's coming up and you know, I may want to wear sandals, so 20 bucks. And I did a, I was able to get the 20% off of this because it wasn't part of the spring haul. This box came busted, but I don't care. All of the items were in here and it didn't bother me. Of course, these are the Green Tea Hydrogel Under Eye Patch from Earth Therapeutics. These were also, I think this might have been part of the spring haul. All I know is they're normally five, $9 and I got them for four fifty. dollars And you know how I feel about under eye patches. So, and I like these. You do get five in here. So essentially for $9, you're really paying already a decent price for them. Now, I have always wanted to try Wonder 2 cosmetics. I see them in CVS all the time. I see them online all the time, on Instagram. They're very expensive. 
I have to say. So I, I have not tried anything. Now, don't confuse it with Wonder Beauty. This is Wonder, W-U-N-D-E-R, and the number two. This is the Perfect Selfie HD Photo Finishing Powder. I have not even opened this yet. I've seen the on Instagram stories of this being amazing, and because it was 40% off, I figured this was a good opportunity for me to try it. It does come with an instruction booklet, which whenever things come with an instruction booklet for something simple as a powder, I start to wonder. Packaging, wonder, get it, one, yeah. The packaging is beautiful, shiny, mirror-like finish. Oh, I wonder if that's supposed to be like that. It has these um, bumps on it. Let me see if you can see. Why do I always get things that like are not in pristine condition? I don't understand. Why did I just say it like that? Can you see that? It has these bumps on it. The powder feels very, very soft. It doesn't have a smell. I don't know. If anything, I'm just going to scratch the top off. But I'm so tired of having to contact companies about products that are just not in pristine condition. I don't know. <sighs> Goodness gracious. But anyway, this is 40% off. I may contact them and, or just look it up and see if that's normal. Okay. Now, this was 20% off. I was going to wait until the Sephora VIP VIB sale, but since I was able to get this for 20% off at Ulta and I had my points, I figured, yes, why not? This is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter. I wanted two of the colors, but I only got the one, which I believe is called Snowflake. Just look at the packaging alone. Aesthetically, she does an excellent job. I have not tried this. I have been enjoying loose highlighters lately. Of course, it does have a sifter that it will be fairly easy to open. I lied. It's not fairly easy to open, but that wasn't too bad. Of course, as I said, it does have a sifter, which I love. Oh, yeah. Even though I could only buy one color, I think this one will do just fine. Don't you think? Very, very finely milled. Slightly glittery, but but not that chunky glitter. Kind of, it just, my hand looks wet. And I am so anxious to try this. I'm going to be doing a video trying new makeup. And I will definitely put this in here because, yay. The next thing I got was the Kapari Story Eye Bomb, is it called? Yes. This is supposed to be like an illuminating under eye thing. There's so many that want to try, and this had so many promises. And honestly, it's just, it's coconut oil, and it makes your eyes moisturized. Do I think it illuminates my under eye in any way? No, but it certainly adds a whole heck of a lot of moisture. But you have to let it soak in totally before you go to put your concealer on, because if you do not, it's going to smear and look so weird. So one caveat there and I can also say that I put it on my eyelids and the dry patches that I've been having because of the retinols that I've been using on my upper eyelids to try to lift my eyes it, and it's been drying it out which I, I did expect this did help moisturize and I put it on at night too only thing I can say it it has a bit of a chunky feeling so when you first rub your hand into it, it it's a bomb and you know how coconut oil gets and then it turns into, it's an oil. So I'm thinking if you have oily skin or oily eyelids or oily under eyes, you're not going to enjoy it. It does have a slight scent to it, but I think that is honestly just the coconut oil. And I said you must, I wouldn't rub it in underneath your eyes, but definitely let it soak in and then tap around. I said or else when you go to put your concealer on, and I can tell you because I have tried it, that it becomes a disaster. You have to wipe it off and start again. So, um, it was expensive, but again, it was at the, I got the 20% off of this, which I was excited because I didn't want to pay full price. I think it's like, it's over $20, which I thought was expensive. It's another thing I was excited to get, but I didn't want to pay full price, so 20% off. This is the new HD Brow Blade. This is the one that has the fine-tipped 
eyebrow pencil on one side and then the marker felt tip on the other side. It's purple aesthetically, it's beautiful. This is the marker side now, I mean, pardon me, the pencil side. Now what color I forgot did I get? This is in brown sugar. Now I did try this. Now I can say that this color is a little too light for this part of my brow. I did use it on this part and it worked out okay. I could have gone a little bit darker. What was a little disappointing is that the marker side is too dark. It is, it works spectacularly on creating those little fine strokes and doesn't look chunky and it's not too wet. But for that color that it showed up here, this is too dark because I tried to use it on my inner and it was just too dark. But for doing over here and just flicking like little lines, I don't think it gives you, I only used it once. I don't think on the first try that it gives you the hair like strokes, but I certainly like what it did for my brows. I'm going to be using it more. I'll use it in that video that I'm going to do and we will play with it a little together and see uh, how it works out. I think it's an ingenious idea. Since Wonder 2 was 40% off, I thought I would give two more of their products a try. I'm very into colored eyeliners these days. I've been shying away from them on my lid, but for my waterline, I've been enjoying them tremendously. The box came a little crushed. Do I care? Not in the least. And this is the Super Stay Liner. Again, sometimes my liner in my waterline will just kind of wind up in my corner throughout the day or just wear off. And since they say super stay, it piqued my interest. I got this one in a bronze. Wow, they're very soft and very creamy. And here is that color. Let's see if I can do this. Very nice. I do have another bronze, but it's a little stiffer. And I don't like it on my waterline because it's uncomfortable. And then I also got the Essential Navy. I do have a couple of blues, but they're more of the bright, bright blue. And I wanted just a straight up navy for my waterline when I do some blue looks. Oh, this is gorgeous. Again, it goes on smoothly. And I'm going to be excited to try it. I may try those. I also have my ColourPop ones to try. We're just going to have fun with a whole bunch of crud. Do you know what I mean? Of course, I had to pick up a backup of my Lash Paradise Pink Primer. You guys know how much I love this. I go through one, oh, I don't know, a month because I wear it every single day. This was on sale, plus I did get my 20% off. So that's when I like to pick them up because normally they're about uh, $9.99. Then I got the little bag. I'm just going to have to rip the bag. I normally save the bags to use for poopy bags, but that's okay. See, I reuse everything. I've never tried Sun Bum before. I only thought, I thought originally they were like suntan products. Maybe they are, but they also had hair products. And they were, again, these were part of the sale and they were the 40 or 50% off, which I'm like, yes, please let me try. This was the anti-frizz oil mist. Now that summertime is coming, uh, we're into spring, the warmer, more humid weather. I look like a puffball. A not so attractive poodle because poodles are really cute, but the poodle look doesn't work well on me. So this is the anti-frizz oil mist and I'm looking forward to trying this. I just want to try and spray it in my hair. Not that, not that you're going to be seeing anything, but oh, the scent people. If you like that coconut suntan lotion smell, you're going to like this. It really smells good and it's not that greasy. Yeah, I'm just filling my hair and it's not greasy at all. Yay! Then this is a detangler. Detanglers don't have to be spectacular, but I don't want them to like dry my hair out. So I was anxious to try this one. It's so cute. They got a little monkey on the front. It's adorable. I just noticed that. So again, for the 40% off, I don't mind trying a little bit more pricey of a product. And if it works, yay me. If you know my obsession with body scrubs and scents of body scrubs, you know that I had to try this Tree Hut Coco Colada Shea Sugar Scrub. I have like three at the moment. 
there's something about a scented sugar scrub, anything scented in the shower, I want to use it more often. Ooh, it's like right on top. It smells not as strongly as I thought it would. But it's white, and I do very much enjoy these. They're not very expensive, but again, they were on sale. So when they are on sale, I stock up. It's not like they're going to go bad. And I do like to switch them up. I won't go through just one. I'll switch them out every now and then, but I like these. And then when you spent a certain amount, you did get a free bag of goodies, which I have not opened as of yet. And I like these plastic bags because when you are, again, I don't go anywhere, but if you do and you are going someplace and you want something that is easy to clean on the inside in case something spills, these little bags are fabulous. Let's see what we got. Okay, in this little Ziploc baggie, which I will reuse. So this is a cleanser. By the way, these come in handy because, because when I ship things out to people, if I don't have any of these, I use regular plastic baggies to seal it to make sure nothing happens. So this is the Cream Mousse Comfort Cleanser. I am actually using another Lancome cleanser, but this one will definitely come in handy. Ooh, I like the Derma Blend. I just haven't bought it because they're on the pricey side. I know I could have gotten it at the 21 Days of Beauty. I'm very excited to have this. This is a very underrated powder. I think it's a fabulous powder. It is translucent, it's finely milled, and it goes on beautifully. Super happy to have this. The good old Great Lash Mascara that has been around forever. It is a cult classic. I do very much like it. I have three others already of this, so I may put this in a giveaway. I'm not sure, but this is just an oldie but goodie that when at the time people hyped it up and talked about it, but you know how things just, they get paid to talk about something and then they don't. Speaking of getting paid to talk about something, <laughs> I just wanted to mention Ebates. I purchased this through Ebates and at the time they were having 8% off of Ulta. I do have a referral link just like you would have if you joined Ebates. If you sign up through another person's link, the person that you signed up through I think gets, it, it varies but it's anywhere between 10 sometimes $25 if someone uses your link. Now you don't have to use my link because you will still get yourself a $10 bonus. When you make a purchase of $25 or more through Ebates, no matter whose link you sign up for, or if you just do it yourself on your own, you'll get $10 cash back. I have been using Ebates for over 10 years, and this is no joke, I said, because they certainly don't know who I am and they're not paying me. If you're going to shop online, you may as well shop through Ebates. I get at least $100 cash back per quarter, and that's how you get paid quarterly. So if I wasn't shopping through Ebates and I was just shopping online, I wouldn't be getting that $100 cash back. So even if you don't use my link, you will still get the $10 bonus when you make a purchase, and then you can refer somebody else and they'll get the same thing, and then you get a bonus. So if you want to use my link, thank you so much, but just sign up for it. If you're an online shopper, just sign up for it because it's that fabulous. Ooh, and we actually got a mini Smashbox lipstick. And this is a gorgeous peachy color, which would go very nicely with what I'm wearing, as a matter of fact. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love Smashbox lipsticks, the liquid ones. That is so pretty. This is going to go in like one of my everyday drawers. I've been trying to rotate my lipsticks into like an everyday type of drawer because some of them are getting like lost in the shuffle and I want to start using products I don't normally use. This is like so much stuff. This is the Philosophy Time in a Bottle. I have not tried this. It is a serum. I have to look at the ingredients because certain Philosophy products, I do not like their ingredients. This is a small little too, but again, I got this for free. I'm going to look them up, and I'll let you know whether or not I'm going to try it. There's a lot of foil packets left in here, but that doesn't bother me. Oh, look, the Becca Backlight and First Light Priming Filters in these little guys. I love both of these. I don't know if you guys have tried them, but they are both excellent, albeit pricey primers, but I love them. So happy to have that. I may put that in a giveaway because I have a lot of primers. Oh, this is nice. This is a peel-off mask, and this is perfect for a one-time use. This is the Ahava Vanilliella, which I have no clue 
Algae Refresh and Smooth Peel Off Mask. I love masks. I am way behind on my masking series. I have like 30 of them that I have to review. And this is the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. I'm actually happy that I got one of these because this isn't enough for my hair, but I have like two others and combined, it will be great to try. Yay. And we got a sample of, this must be new from Dolce & Gabbana. It's called the Only One Eau de Parfum. I just like saying that. Let me try this. I think I like it. Do you know what it reminds me of? My favorite, which is the Tom Ford Black. Oh, I think it smells like that. Oh, this is going like on my list. Not to buy it, but just to enjoy. This is from Bumble and Bumble. This is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Shampoo and Invisible Oil Conditioner. Again, not a lot, but anything that says oil, it has oil in it. For my dry hair, I'm like, yeah, yay. These are expensive. <laughs> if you've never tried the Patchology Under Eye Illuminating Gels, very expensive, but I think, don't quote me on it, highly worth it. And I said, these are not little cheapy things. So yay. La Roche-Posay. This is the Toler, Toler, I don't know. This is the Double Repair Moisturizer, Moisturizer and it does have UV protection. Maybe I'll use that in one of my Getting Ready with Samples and Mini series. Again, another very good brand, Derma E. It is the Advanced Peptide and Collagen Moisturizer and their serum. I will be trying both of these together and let you know my thoughts. Look at all these great things. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Can't wait to try that. Here's another shampoo and conditioner. This is called the Saki Balm. It is a nourishing shampoo and conditioner. I may put this in a giveaway. How many of those can I possibly use? This is the Vichy 89 Fortifying Skin Booster, a daily vitamin booster. You don't use this by yourself. You put this on or you can mix it with a moisturizer or another serum. I think I've tried this, I'm not sure. All right, this is so weird because I've been thinking about this. I have another one and I may try this. This is the Unicorn Hair. It is a permanent hair dye and I've been thinking about maybe just dyeing like the bottom of my hair, like a funky color. If I don't like it, eventually it will wear out, but that's so cool. I have one other that I've been just ticking to try. Parada Candy, which I absolutely love, but maybe I'll put this in a giveaway to let one of you guys enjoy it. And the last thing is the Lorac Tantalizer. I love this stuff. This is the body bronzer. I absolutely love this stuff. And, oh, one last thing. We got Jimmy Choo Floral. Now, I'm going to try it, but I'm not a floral perfume person. Oh, that, that Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's not a bad floral. Hmm, Interesting. I may have to give it another shot. If not, I'm going to give it to my friend Brenda at work. She likes the, the florally perfumes. So that is it for that bag. And I have one more thing to share with you guys. I know this was a bit of a long video. Nordstrom Rack had an amazing sale. They had stuff on clearance, which I was like, can't resist. I think I only spent $30, something like that. But these were from Christmas. These were the Butter London Glaze and Eye Glosses. They're like the mini glaze and eye glosses, which I'm happy about because, you know, if you get the big one, how often are you really going to use it? So to get the little ones, it says it has a, this was originally $32. I think I paid 12 and it says that it has a $56 value. The Butter London Eye Glazes, I think are like $25 each. It comes like this. They're little mini ones. Let's try this purpley one. Look how cute and tiny. That's a perfect amount that you can actually use up the product. Of course, it comes with this to protect it and keep it moist. It's a jelly product. Wow, but as soon as you put it on, it like dries down to a powdery finish. That's beautiful. Let's try one more. That's like the Jelly Much Shadows from ColourPop, which I'm loving. Same thing, they have this gorgeous texture. Look at that. And they just dry down like so quickly to a powder finish. I'm going to be so excited to play with these for the price that I paid for them. It's like, heck yeah. And then I had to get this 
Laura Geller products go on sale a lot. You can find them in TJ Maxx. But Nordstrom Rack is kind of like a TJ Maxx, essentially. And I don't know what it was about this color combo that really caught my attention. But is there a baked color intense shadow duo? I have not tried them before. But something about that color combo like grabbed a hold of me and wouldn't let go. It has a very, oh my. That's so soft. Uh, one's more of a matte and one's like really highlighty. And wow. Those are right up my alley and I'm shocked. Um, I like that a lot. I can't wait to play with that. Wow. And then because it was on super clearance, these are all from the clearance section. And I was so surprised to find it. But I've never tried anything from Lime Crime before. And again, I have seen in several TJ Maxx videos that they do have these at TJ Maxx. But again, a lot of the items that are TJ Maxx and Marshalls will be at Nordstrom Rack as well. These are the plushies eyeshadow. And this color combo just kind of called to me because oh look how cute the little pink that's adorable they called to me because i've been so into the brights lately let me find a clean finger here wow they are really soft and pigmented look at that yellow it's like fluorescent i need a clean finger somebody find me a clean finger that sounded wrong i like that it's got the two pops of color but it's also got two neutrals in it Oh, oh my. Why haven't I ever tried Lime Crime before? Uh, yeah. Okay. I can create a very nice look out of those four shadows for sure. I'm going to be doing several trying new makeup videos, obviously. The package is so cute, too. I mean... It's got like this, you know, even like the, the cover for the shadows is gorgeous. I mean, just so freaking cute. So that is everything, my friends. Let me try to get this. Okay, remember I was saying about the, the Wonder 2 that I want something to stay? Not coming off. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with those Wonder 2 eyeliners staying. And the Smashbox lipstick is also quite long-wearing as well. Don't you love when you find those products? Don't you love when I try out the products first so you can know how to spend your money? <laughs> as I said, if possible, I want to add up the total value, especially for the Ulta order, of what the retail values would be. And then again, remember, I paid about $30 for everything because of my points and the sales and spring deal what everyone calls still going on and we have the Sephora coming up so as I said I set aside a certain as I said oh boy my English mm. I set aside a certain amount of money that I know I can spend per month for items for my channel so that's how I do it if you're on a budget maybe there's one thing that you might like I suggest you know being diligent and mindful of the things that you want to get do like I do. Say, you have this amount of money, so you have to choose A, B, C, or D. You make your choice, and don't regret it. And that's my tip for that. But thank you so much for sharing this with me. Thank you for keeping my mind occupied and not on things that are going to make me sad and cry. So I hope whatever part of the world you guys are in on and around, you're amazing people. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I'll see you very soon in my next time. Much love, everybody. Bye.